Good day everyone. So what do we have? It's a Monday. We have this laptop. This is coming from our regular customer. It's a Samsung. Let me see the model. Samsung. Samsung NP300E 5C. That's the model of this laptop. This laptop was booked in as coming on, but the screen is dancing. I don't know how to describe the fault, but that's what the customer saying. He said when you press the power on, the laptop is coming on, but the screen is dancing. I didn't, I didn't break down the laptop or it didn't fall down, but uh, it's doing some funny things on the screen. So let's see what the laptop is doing exactly. On. Yeah, it's on. Let's wait. Check what the laptop is doing. You see the Samsung log? It's doing this. Even if I move the screen, it's doing something. So what can be the fault? That's an interesting fault. It's loading Windows, but it's doing some funny things on the screen. So what what we have to check here? So I will pay attention on three things. Either we have a fault screen, or you can see it's trying to it's loading the windows, but the screen is not stopping. Either we do have a fault screen, it's possible, or Can be a fault LVDS cable, screen ribbon cable. Graphics, I don't think so. Because the, fe the, the fact that it posts on the screen, it means the motherboard passed the test. I don't think we have a GPU fault here. It has two flashing. Oh, what the owner said, he said he. This laptop was working with these dots, black dots, but it wasn't flashing like this. So, where can we start checking? Where can we start checking? Do you have a fault screen? Fault screen, screen cable? Or a motherboard fault. What do you think? Yeah, it's still dancing. You can see? The screen is not stable. So let's see. Let's start opening on the screen side. Maybe we can see something. That's interesting if we are getting like, like new faults. That's quite interesting. Quite interesting if we are getting such kind of faults. Because we will learn from this video, we will learn many things. Let me open up the screen and we check a few things together. So I just finished taking out all the screws on the screen panel and let's test one more time on same thing you can see the same sound so what can be the fault here okay let's power off the laptop let's start by doing basics what i'll do i'll take out this screen you see this screen screen ribbon cable connector. I'll take it out. I'll put back. I'll put back the screen connector. I'll power on the laptop again. On. 
same thing. Okay. Let's power off. So why this laptop is dancing? Why? Let me check out the screen. Do you have a faulty screen? Or something is not right on the screen side? What do you think? What I want to check, I want to check some voltages. Do you have 19 volts? Do you have 3.3? And also, if I'm also to locate those signals, the power on signal to power on the screen and the <laughs> backlight enabled, I can see the test points here. So I want to check all those signals for voltages. On. Now it's no longer dancing. It's still dancing. It's still dancing. Let's check those signals. Let's check those signals. Three point on the output. Three point. Eleven volts. Eleven volts. On those test points. Three volts. The other one. Three volts. Three volts. Twenty five volts after the inverter chip. Okay. All the voltages looks fine. Why? You know what? Let me test with a different screen. Let me test with a different screen. Let's see now. Let's see now. This screen is weird. Now it's, now it's white. Why? Why this screen is just changing? Sometimes it's playing, sometimes it's, it's displaying white. You know what? From this behavior, we can conclude that we have a fault screen. From this behavior, now it's dancing. Based on the fact that this screen has some dots, I'm now doubting. I don't think there's need to check on the other side of the, the laptop, like on the motherboard. What I want to check, let's check with another screen. Let me power off the laptop. Let's check out the screen. Don't do like what I'm doing, checking out the screen without disconnecting the battery. In most cases, in most of the cases, you are losing backlights. Don't do shortcuts like me. So let's, we have this smaller screen. I'm using this just for testing. But that's not the right screen. Let's power on the laptop. The screen is smaller, but it's a 40 pin screen, 40 pin connector on. And it's working. It's working. So this screen is fault. At least, at least, you know, if you learn something, that will be a good achievement in repairs. We now know whenever you see a dancing screen, in most of the time, it is a faulty screen. You can see. 
The laptop is working fine. It's working fine. The screen is not dancing anymore. You can see the state of the Samsung logo and it's loading Windows. So basically the screen is a fault. What a boring job. In this case, I think I have to call the customer. I will explain to the customer because the repair cost of motherboard and the screen replacement is quite different. So we have to agree obviously on price before I do anything. We do have this 15.6 inch 40, 40 pin connector the screens in stock. So I think uh, we need to talk with the customer. That's all what you have to do. That's all what you have to do. Uh, the screen, the laptop is working fine. Only that we have uh, like a faulty screen. It is working fine. So. What I will do, I will speak with the customer so that we agree on price. But actually, if you see something like this, you power on the laptop and the screen is dancing. In most cases, we have a fault screen. So what I will do, I will stop this video now. I will communicate with the customer for screen replacement job. If we agree on price, I will replace the screen. Um, that was so boring. See you on the next one. Bye.